Hey, it's Jesse. Um, some of you might have saw on Facebook where I was talking about some things have been kind of hard for me. Um, really, I used the term hard on me instead of things are hard for me because if I use for me, it sounds like I'm complaining. Um, instead, I usually use things are hard on me today or things are hard on me this week or my entire life. Don't use it as an excuse anymore. Um, I haven't been able to get my prescription filled for my medication. Well, all of my medications. See? That's just one. That's not the one that calms me down. And when I don't, when I'm not able to take it, I kind of get a little crazy. Everybody knows I'm fucking crazy anyways. Okay? We've known this for a long time. Jesse is crazy. I've been drove crazy. Um, I decided to make this video. I'm going to include a lot of stuff in it. Instead, instead of me making like three or four videos, I can just make this one. Um, see today I haven't taken my medication so this is my bullet point list <laughs> for the video anyways it's nothing but chicken scratch when I get upset or I get to this point my even my the way I speak the way I write the way I drive everything changes when I'm at this point Things are completely different for me and for the people around me. The first thing I want to talk about is smoking. Don't smoke cigarettes. They kill. Bad for you. Okay. First thing on my list is haters. Or just rude people in general do you think that I really care what you or anybody else thinks about me do you really think I care I don't know you you're a stranger you decided to watch my video you can comment if you want but do you think I give a shit what you people that are just ignorant and rude and hateful to other people. Do you think I care what you what you say to me or what you think? I don't. You can. This is your. You can stop. You don't have to do it anymore. You're probably going to continue to do it, but I don't care. <laughs> um, you cannot make me mad. I'm mad today, but it's not about haters. I've already received death threats and all kinds of shit. And if you're going to come at me with shit, don't come at me with, oh, look at the fat guy or, oh, look at the gay guy. Come up with something original, you know? I'm over that. Everybody's over that. I'm fat. Yeah. I'm gay. Yeah. What about it? Okay. Um, second topic. I got a friend on YouTube. He's... He's pretty cool to chat with. He does a lot of videos just having fun with himself. And, um, it's it, He's got a good channel. It's, I call him Toasty. I'm not going to say his name. But I'll put his link below. And y'all can go check out his videos. He's a pretty neat kid. He's very opinionated for his age. <laughs> very opinionated for his age. Okay. Me and my medication.
I have been on up to 12 pills at one time, you know, in all, I was taking all 12 of the pills, different medicines, all at once. Not good. Finally away from that. I have severe depression, um, have anorexia, a mild form of anorexia. I have other stress-related issues and reasons I take medication. Um, if you don't know me personally, you you probably wouldn't understand. Um, if you do know me personally, you know exactly what I'm taking. Why I'm taking that those pills? Why I'm taking these pills? If you're wondering, I am chilling in my snuggie. One of my other topics is. Um, if you don't see me for a while or I talk to you and it's real short just like a hi how are you doing or I'm okay you or if I don't delve into conversation don't think anything of it please because I'm kind of going through a rough time my mom has been diagnosed with some things, um, and so it's been kind of hard. My stepdad's father passed really suddenly this January, this past January, and um, my mom and stepdad have been kind of having it a bit hard, and so it's kind of affected me too. Um, there's nothing I can really do for them like personally I could talk to them and you know let them talk to me and I listen and I do and I listen to them but other than that I mean I can only lend emotional support and that bothers me you know because you want to do more for your parents I have recently self-diagnosed myself with some kind of form of probably bipolar disorder, a bipolar disorder. Don't know what kind, but uh, or how severe. I'm currently on no medications for bipolar disorder. Probably should go get that checked on, huh? So this blog kind of started out angry, I guess maybe. Or maybe it didn't to you. First I was like, I was pissed, so that's why I wanted to make the blog about these idiots that think that they can, they hurt me by their, what, their words. And There's this one particular person that is really nasty. And the uh, username is, I'm not going to give you the username because personally I don't even remember what was after it, but it was like Nicole337EatShit or eat shit and die or something like that and this is a person who makes fun of people with disabilities or he makes fun of me for speaking my mind telling that it does hurt people when you hear it does hurt when you hear people talking about you and that was my video I was saying yes it does hurt even though you don't think I can hear you those words still hurt. And he was like, why didn't you, why aren't you a man and why didn't you get up and, and fend for yourself or some bullshit like that? For one thing, I have class, okay. Two, I have manners. Three, we were in a public restaurant. Four, I didn't want to go to jail because I probably would have jumped behind the bar, eventually jumped behind the bar, got a bottle of liquor and knocked somebody up the head, upside the head with it, okay. Because when you push me to that point, when I get pushed to a certain point, I see nothing but red. And I'm coming after anybody that's fucking with me or pissing me off. And I've done it before. I don't want to do it again. But I will if I have to. So, Nicole337 eats shit. 
I've blocked you from my videos, so I won't have to worry about you harassing anybody that's making comments on my videos anymore, or harassing me. But um, I just want you to know, if you see this, that you are a complete and utter waste of skin. A waste of skin and brains. You ain't got no brains, but what brains you do have, you're wasting them. Leave people alone. I mean, why would you go to her videos and say all those rude and nasty comments to her? And she's like, I don't even know how old she is, but she's probably under 20. Or maybe 20, barely at 20, if that. She has a disability and you're making fun of her for it. It's ridiculous. Uncalled, uncalled for. Last topic is Big Shirley. I just wanted to let you know that I was a fan of yours. I started following you. I shared your videos. I favorited them. I even had conversations with you. Just talking. Not really delving into to deep, deep shit, but we were just kind of chatting ever and we did it a couple of times and then the first time I go into your blog TV I'm in there and all of a sudden I'm here and you're in a fight with fat boy get down I have no idea what the hell was going on that's none of my business I was in your chat room talking to someone they were talking about something in particular not about you or fat boy get down and I made a comment to them not a rude comment just following up with their fucking conversation and all of a sudden, I hear you say, oh, he's a fat boy get down lover and a troll or something and come or block him or he's a he's sent here by fat boy get down. I wasn't sent nowhere by nobody, honey. And I ain't, I ain't that angry with you. But I just want to let you know, I ain't out there dogging you. I ain't out there downing you. I've always supported you. I don't right now because there's no reason for me to. Because you haven't given me a reason to start supporting you again. And this is not anger directed towards you. This is just anger directed towards that situation. I don't care what's going on between you and somebody else. You should have asked me. You've been like, hey, what was he, what What was that comment for? Or are you, were you sent here by Fat Boy Get Down to troll on me or whatever? And I would have said, of course not. You know, I don't do that. I have no reason to do that. So, take this as an apology, I suppose. I'm sorry if you thought it was a, a different whatever was going on. I didn't. I don't know what you thought was going on. But, I just want to let you know that there was nothing going on. I was not there to troll you. I was not there to cause trouble or anything like that. And you blocked me from it. I'm not asking you to unblock me from it. That's fine. Leave it like it is or whatever. I just want you to know I ain't out there trying to make you look bad or doing what these other people are doing to you and talking about you and calling you all kinds of names and shit and all that bullshit. And this is real. This is not me. It's simply Jesse fucking around with Cinnamon Challenge, all that bullshit, and playing these games and haha, I love Fat Boy Get Down, Fat Boy Get Down, Live Forever, whatever. I'm not that right now. This is just uh, another a human to another human. I didn't do anything wrong that I saw wrong to you. And I just wanted to let you know that I don't give a shit about any of all that bullshit. I enjoyed watching your videos. But that's it. Okay? Um, in case you were still thinking something else, now you know. Now you know. I didn't do it. It's a 14 minute video. It's a long one. It's my longest one yet. Um, there's much more to come. I've got a lot of stuff to upload that I've already videoed. And um, just stay tuned. If anybody's got an issue with anything in this video, don't comment or something. Why don't you just send me an email, send me an inbox on YouTube, send me an inbox on Facebook. You know where it's at. Alright everybody, peace out.